14 on Friday. If you have the Bible, look at the Romans chapter 12, verse 14 to 21. Romans chapter 12, verse 14 to 21. Bless those who are persecuted to you, bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice, mourn with those who mourn. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud, but be willing to associate with the people of low position. Do not be conceited. Do not repay anyone evil for evil. Be careful to do what is right in the eyes of everyone. If it is possible and finally it is dependent on you, live at peace with everyone. Do not take a revenge, my dear friend, but leave room for God's wrath. For it is written, it is mine to be avenged. I will repay, says the Lord, on the country. If your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. In doing this, you will keep burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. This evening, I'm going to share with you, overcome evil, yeah, overcome evil with good. And unfortunately, people, they don't overcome evil with good. Can you overcome with good? Overcome the evil with good. Do you know what Jesus said? Jesus said about the world. The world is already so evil. Because Jesus speak about uh, this whole world is evil. And people, they don't like Jesus. And But Jesus said, love your enemy. Pray for your persecutor. Verse 14, you know, you know pray for people. Those who are persecute you, don't curse them. Bless them. Can you bless them, those who curse you, those who persecute you? Yes, you can bless them. There is a Matthew chapter 5, verse 44 say, But I tell you, this word of Jesus, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Can you love your enemy? <clears throat> can you pray for your persecutor? You can pray for them. Many years ago, when I was preaching on the street, one guy came to me, he spit on my face. I knew he is a racist. He don't like this color. And then... When he spit on my face, it's so smelly and dirty. But automatically, to joy inside my heart. How do I know? Because of this Matthew chapter 5, verse 10 to 12. If someone prosecute you, mock you, insult you, rejoice and be glad. It's automatically, it's I have joy and gladness. And then, I don't curse him. I bless him. I smile and I say to him, Jesus loves you. Give your life to Jesus. Jesus loves you. And he died on the cross for your sins. When I spoke to him, he was more angry because I smiled and then I have joy and he spit on my face again. More. But we have to bless them. If somebody persecutes you, don't curse them. Bless them with the love of Jesus. That is why, you know, even verse 15, you can you can rejoice with the uh, those you are rejoice with uh, those who are rejoice mourn uh, those who mourn you can you know we are one body if somebody cry you can you know you can be with them and support him for them i spoke to our congregation uh, like this your pain is my pain your joy is my joy i speak like that if you look at the one corinthians chapter 12 verse 26 and 27 say if one part suffer every part suffer with it if one part is honored every part rejoice with it now you are the body of christ and each one of you is a part of it you see you are one body if one part is suffer yeah we are one body yeah if this finger is the pain and suffering yeah whole my body go to hospital together because of this one finger we can't say that we can chop this finger and send it to hospital no we have to move it together and one body. We are one body. Romans chapter 12 verse 16 says, Live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud, but be willing to associate with the people of low position. Do not be conceited, which means do not over, uh, overestimate yourself, which means be humble. Be humble. Okay? Live in harmony with one another. You know, we live in London. You can see all kinds of people in London. Muslims, Hindus, Buddhists, atheists, all kinds of people in, in, in London, but live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud, but willing to associate with the people of a low position, especially somebody who are 
difficult. You can be with that. Be humble. You know, those you who are you know, in a difficult situation, they are my friend. Especially in such an area, 630 homeless, alcoholic, drug addict, prostitutes, gangsters live in this area. I think biggest number in South, South London. And then they are my friend. You know, within one year, before coronavirus, 45 homeless, drug and alcoholic stay in our church. Thanks to among the 45, uh, this kind of people, and 13 people start a new life. Praise God. Over 25 percentage of the people who stay in our church, they start a new life. Therefore, according to scripture, you know, live in harmony with one another. Yeah? Philippians chapter 2, verse 3 and 4 say, Do not think out of selfish ambition for vain conceit, but in humility value others above yourself. Not looking to your own interest, but each of you to interest of others. It's very hard, isn't it? <laughs> we look for our own interest, but can you do it for interest of others? If you do it for interest of others, you will be blessed. You will be encouraged. And today, you can see, you know, God wants to encourage you and then, then live in this world to suffering for one another and bless one another. Verse, 50, verse 80 is a commandment. If we, it is possible. If it is possible. And finally, it depend on you. Live at peace with everyone. And I said again, live at peace with everyone. I have a peace with all my neighbors. Peace with you. Even Muslims, Hindus, and atheists, you can peace, have peace. If it is possible, and if I do not depend on you, live at peace with everyone. This is what God wants. Yeah? You know, don't make an enemy. Romans chapter 4, 14, verse 19 says, Let us therefore make everyone, every effort to do uh, what leads to peace and to mature uh, edification. And don't, don't fight to one another. Please, please, you have to, you know, uh, make a peace. Make every effort to do what is lead to peace. Every effort, every effort to do what lead to peace. You're a peacemaker. You know what Jesus said, you're a peacemaker, you're a, you're called as you a child of God. Yeah. I'm a peacemaker. You're a peacemaker. Through Jesus, you are a peacemaker. Wherever you go, you know, you can reconcile it for people between God and people. Some people they are enemy of God. Through you, these people they surrender their life to Jesus and then become you know best friend. And through you, some people they are enemy to each other. Through you, you can be a peacemaker to love one another. Long time ago my father and mother they argue each other and then they don't talk. I think they don't talk for I think two days. And I was praying to the Lord, what should I do for my father and mother? And then I called uh, my mother to some uh, other room. I told her, Mommy, listen to me. My father is very strict and then just let you know he loves you. Because he loves you, he speaks like that. Please, uh, you need to understand that he loves you. She said, no, I don't think so. She speaks like that. When I called uh, my daddy, the other room, I asked him, Daddy, listen to me. She loves you. You know, she, she speaks to you like that. That is, you know her character. You need to know that she loves you. She said, no, I don't think so. You know, I spoke to my father and my mother, told them, mother loves you, daddy. Daddy, and then I told her, daddy loves you, mom, listen. And then two days later, they look at each other. Guess what happened? God opened their heart. And then they could start each other. You know, I was a peacemaker. In any situation, I want to be a peacemaker. And therefore, is when you live in this world, uh, let us uh, therefore make a, every effort to do what leads to peace. I want to be a peacemaker for the broken family and for you know hurting people. And then I can be a peacemaker. You can be a peacemaker. Verse 19, do you know? Jesus said, love your enemies, verse 90. Do not take a, a, a revenge, my dear friend, but leave room for God's wrath. For it is written, it is mine to avenge, I will repay, says the Lord. Don't try to revenge. 
you know, when you live in this world, uh, you are innocent sometimes, uh, you know, somebody despise you, upset you, discourage you. What should you do? Don't try to revenge. You know, I was praying for Pastor James. We were off in the church on 31st of October. We called the Miranga Shepherd Church in Kenya, uh, outside of Kisun, around 40 kilometers. And I was praying for him. And then some pa some pastors around that the small village, the area. Some pastor despise uh, Pastor James. Look at this poor pastor. He preaching on the street and then they mock him. They despise him. I told him, good for you. Don't be discouraged when people say something about you. Don't be discouraged. But listen what I say to you. I told him. I told him I want to multiply. I want to pray for him. He said, yes, I want to pray. And he will pray together for, with me for three hours today. And then, you know, don't be despised by somebody. If somebody despises you, somebody upset you, insult you, mock you, or persecute you, don't be discouraged. Don't try to revenge. Do not take revenge, my dear friend. But leave room for God's work. Do you understand? Let God do something for you. You know, revenge is mine, what the Bible says. It is mine to avenge. I will repay, says the Lord. You know, Psalm 23, you know that scripture. You know, my God supplied all my need. And uh, he prepared a table before my enemies. Do you understand? The Bible is very interesting. The word of God saying, God prepared a table in front of your enemy. Can you imagine? And the enemy knows that. Surely God loves this man. Surely this man is working with God. Yeah, they know. Romans chapter 12, verse 20, on the contrary. If your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. In doing this, you will keep burning coals on his head. What does it mean? Keep burning coals on his head. That means, actually, people, they transform their life. They repent of the sins. Can you imagine if your, your enemy is hungry, can you feed him? Yes. If, you, if your enemy is thirsty, can you give something to drink? Yes. It's not my word, it's the word of God. Continue to bless your enemy. Continue to bless your enemy. You know, because of our church, our church is a, a Pentecostal church. Singing and worshiping God with the dancing and clapping, and like this, our neighbor complain. And then, what should we do? We bless our neighbor. Sometimes we brought the flower for them. Sometimes we bring the chocolate for them. And of course, we pray for them and encourage them. And then they understand our church is a Pentecost church. We singing and worshiping God on Sunday. And they understood us. And we keep on praying for them. Bless them. Please, you know the Bible says, love your enemy. Who is the enemy? I tell you, the enemy is in your household, your wife, your husband, your children, your father, your mother. Somebody who crossed you easily to become your enemy. But God said, love your enemy with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your strength. Love them. You understand? Therefore, we don't have an enemy in this world at all. But true enemy is a you know, true enemy is a demon, Satan. You can kick him out. Satan hates me so much. I know. But Jesus loves me so much. I hate and he, Satan hates me. I think I kick him out in Jesus. I, I I don't want to listen to the voice of Satan. I need to destroy the plan of Satan. Son of man, Jesus came to this world to destroy the plan of Satan destroy. This is my job. So your job and my job, enemy means some of your brothers and sisters, some of your neighbors, even non-Christian. Bless them. Bless them. Pray for them. Proverbs chapter 25, verse 21, 22 say, if your enemy is hungry, give him food to eat. If he is thirsty, give him water to drink. In doing this, you will keep burning calls on his head and then Lord will reward you. You see, the Lord will reward you. God wants to bless you. Therefore, yeah, God say, it is mine. It is mine to avenge. I will repay. Also, if you continue to bless your enemy, give them food to eat, give them water to drink. In doing this, what God say, yeah, the Lord will reward you. The Lord will reward you. 
Yes. Continue to bless your enemies. Bless your neighbor. Your hand is released. Yeah. Flowing for others. Let the blessing of the Lord overflow from your life and give and give and bless others. Romans chapter 12, verse 21. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with the good. Hallelujah. This is our message tonight. Do not overcome by evil. You understand? You can see it is an evil word now. But overcome evil with the good. Remember. Remember. You know the game? Uh, log, paper, scissor. Log, paper, scissor. This log is look like very powerful. But paper is looking like very weak. But paper is a over, over, over winner. You see? Paper overcome the law, which means you can overcome evil with the good. Yeah? If you overcome with the good, God will reward you. Let God do something for you. Yes. When you live in this world, uh, you know, the world hates you. Jesus said, if the world hates you, don't worry. The world hates Jesus first. Not you first. You know, when I was preaching the gospel on the street, the people, they, they're against me. They hate me. They don't hate me first. They hate the Jesus who lives inside of me. I no longer live. Christ lives in me. When Christ Jesus lives inside of me, I know my behavior is no more my own behavior. My behavior is transformed. And the character of Lord Jesus, the behavior of Lord Jesus, is coming out from my life. Yeah? And then people, they against me. They hate me. What should I do? I continue to bless them. And pray for them. Love your enemy. Love your enemy. And then pray for your persecutor. Open the scripture tonight. You know, bless God who persecute you. Can you bless them, God who persecute you? Bless, do not curse. Bless, do not curse. You know, I know how, how God is working in, in my life, in our church. You know, we never curse anybody. We have to bless them. God who persecute you. Don't you curse you, don't you against you, bless them. Yeah? This is a blessing for others. And you will see how God has blessed your life. Yeah? Please remember, overcome evil with the good. This is the message. Romans chapter 12, verse 21. All the times, remember, overcome evil with the good. God wants to use you mightily for the glory of God. Let me pray for you guys. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this opportunity. I pray for my dear brothers and sisters in Jesus' name. Give them strength. Give them power of the Holy Spirit to love enemy. Bless enemy. Lord Jesus, we know that bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse. Love your enemy. Pray for your persecutor. Father, we thank you. And by your grace, by your anointing, by your power, and you can overcome evil with the good. Thank you, Jesus. Father God, you can use us as a great instrument for your glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you for